Hello, welcome back. And to today and on this uh, step, we want to create the bracings, the the horizontal and vertical bracings. So, with the help of these levels here, we'll be able to create the uh, horizontal bracings. And with the elevations, these elevations, we will be able to create vertical bracings. So, let's get started by creating the the horizontal pressing. So I'll double click on the level three or three meter height. So this is the plan we'll have. So from here, we'll be able to start creating our horizontal bracings. So I'll, I'll snap on that spot, right click and double click on that member just to have a look on the size of our uh, member and we need 70 by 70. We'll scroll down and we come to 70 by 70, 70 by six and click OK. And we move to the we make it a default because we, we are going to use quite a number of that. So we've created one member right there. So I'm going ahead and create another one here. I'm seeing an extension here, which is not appropriate. There's an extension there. So I'll double click on that. And that extension is due to this end. So we turn that to zero and apply and save as a default, apply and give it an OK. So the next time when you create, it will not have that extension there. So I'll come to that and snap on that spot. Remember, this is the, the a height of three meter. So we are creating horizontal bracings. I'll snap on that spot, snap on that spot once again, and create another one here. Snap on the same, same spot and create another one here. Perfect. So I'll come back again and snap on the same, same spot and create another bracing here. And I'll come here and create another bracing from that spot to this far end here. So if I switch back to my, uh, my 3D or isometric view, you can see the bracings we were talking about. So we want to add some vertical bracings here. So I'll add this and that. So I'll come to view line one. If I double click on view line one, I'll be able to start placing my bracing, vertical bracings. I'll snap on that spot and move all the way to this particular spot here. And snap on that spot and uh, come start it from that end and uh, place it here. Perfect. Now, if I come to view two, double click on view two, and if I zoom out, just zoom out, I'll be able to create a bracing from that spot to that spot, and from this spot to this spot. Perfect. So I'll go back to my 3D view and turn it around. So I have this in place. So there's no need of having this and the other one on the other end. So I'll just go back and uh, to, to view one, to view two and just get rid of that and delete that. So because once I'm, I'm done with that, I'll be able to mirror this on the, on the other end. I'll double click on view A, view A. So I have view A with me here. So I'm going to pick on that member and zoom out and select on that and select on that. Remember, we are joining all the nodes. We, are, we join from the nodes and we terminate it on that node. Right, right, click on that. That's it. Because nodes are, very, are, are key in, in commerce because that is the point where uh, commerce will be able to read that there is a connection. It, it's only able to connect the nodes and create a connection between the two components. So if I double click, there, I have these components here. So from here is, is where we'll be able to customize um, our bracings. And once we we got the settings right, right from this end to that end, from this end, we will made up to that end. If you got it right from this end, we made up to that end. Then populate everything up to the actual height of our tower. So let's begin that. So from here, you can see we have this back and back. Not back and back, you can see at the end here, the connection will be tricky. So we'll turn this member 
the back will meet by the and the, with the back end we create a hole and bolt it together instead of creating a gusset plate in between so the gusset plate will only be this side this side that side and that side so let me then on where we, I'll be showing you on how we can create the gusset plate in between the two. Let's meet then bye-bye this Morris Bimba.